Okay, review time. The Thorfire LED light bulb. Um, let's see, it has 100% quarantine. Hmm. Well, let me pop up the uh, definition of that from the dictionary. A court of 40 magistrates in the Venetian Republic. And for those who aren't up on their history, uh, the Venetian Republic disappeared about 210 years ago. I suspect it's 100% quality. Uh, this is a uh, bulb from Amazon. Uh, it obviously does not have UL or CSA listing, so of course one might ask why am I so interested in it. Uh, it caught my eye because it has uh, a really significant amount of heat sinking area on these fins here. And because I've got a new thermal camera, I was wondering if that was going to uh, give it any specific benefit. So uh, I'm going to take a look at the uh, heat sink of this bulb and see how they perform. So the uh, Thor Fire bulb is drawing a 12.4 watts, bouncing around a little bit there it looks like. Uh, I need to find another bulb which draws similar power so I can make some sort of useful uh, A to B comparisons. So the closest bulb I can find that's in my collection that draws a similar amount of power is this uh, 75 watt equivalency uh, alien head bulb from Philips, uh, drawing about 12.7 watts. Okay, so well, the outstanding characteristic of this bulb, these big heat sink fins, and of course I was wondering if they're doing anything useful. I have a thermal camera here, it's a seat thermal camera attached to a uh, iPhone. Let me just uh, start the recording the video and I'll pop that up as an inset onto this video. Uh, and you can see of course the uh, camera is declaring that the heat sink is the hottest part of the bulb and where the lights are coming out. Uh, it's not so much raising to what 65 degrees Celsius it looks like. So that's interesting, that's what you'd hope that these fins, of course, are taking the heat from the electronics and rejecting it to the environment. Uh, quite a warm surface, though, for the bulb just sitting here in a uh, free airflow. Let, uh, let me pop up the video for the uh, Cree bulb, which is drawing about the same amount of wattage. Okay, so here's the Cree bulb. It draws about the same uh, number of watts, so same setup, same camera, haven't moved the bulb. Same thing, I'll start the video here and inset it. You can see, of course, the, uh, the heat pattern in this bulb is quite different. The uh, hottest part is the part that does emit the light at the top of the bulb. And there's a considerable difference in degrees. It's 47 degrees Celsius. Here was uh, pushing to the 70s with the other bulb. So, um, although they're drawing the same amount of power, I wonder if it's they're drawing the same amount of light. Okay, light distribution patterns. Uh, this is a polar graph, and there's two bulbs graphed. Uh, in blue, we have the first bulb, which is a Thorifier. And uh, what this graph tells me is that basically all light's going uh, in a downwards direction, so it's all firing from uh, this side of the bulb. That's a very poor emulation of an A-shaped bulb. It's more of like a floodlight. And now the Philips, which was drawing the same amount of uh, power, is in red. And of course, it was an excellent emulation of the A-shaped bulb. This was a really quite a breakthrough bulb when it was uh, produced. Uh, in terms of light intensity, if one was to do a bit of math on this, one would find out that Thorfire uh, actually isn't producing as much light from what I can measure. So, uh, even though this thing actually has pretty decent uh, fins on it, uh, it's probably let down by the fact that it's simply not producing as much light for any given uh, wattage. In terms of flicker, uh, it doesn't look like there's any flicker on the bulb, but my camera's not picking anything up as it uh, tries to uh, look for that banding, which isn't present, so that's good. Okay, well, there's two things to note here. Uh, the first was those films are getting pretty hot in the Thorfire, which seems to indicate that from an efficiency viewpoint, more of the electricity is being converted to heat by the power system uh, than being ejected out as light uh, when compared to that Phillips bulb. Uh, the second thing I was uh, wondering about is the uh, rating here. The claims of 1100 lumens, and uh, the Phillips that we we're looking at there was running at uh, 800 lumens. Um, I'm not entirely convinced it's running that much brighter. So uh, that was the Thorfire.